All right, here's the head guy, Scott Surratt, one of the premier coaches in the state, and I do mean that, one of the very, very best. Sixth year here at Carthage, and Scott, you're coming off a nine and four year, uh, and yeah, I'll tell you what, you know it's a great program, Scott, when a nine and four year is sort of a down year. Well, we were disappointed in how we finished last year. There's no question. You know, we came a long way. We, we on the positive end of it, we were very pleased on how much we improved and that we could compete with the best in the state. And uh, we don't want to just to compete around here, though. We we want to do that early. In our, and when I first got here, we want to win now and uh, win win the last game of the season. All right, let's talk about this year's team. First of all, uh, we're taping this, ladies and gentlemen, on Saturday morning, and uh, this is uh, August the 11th. And uh, so let's go back now to August the 6th, which would have been this past Monday. That's when practice has started. So tell us what you've done in the first week. Well, we've done just about what everybody else done. We conditioned a lot and uh, put our base plays in offensively and defensively and worked on a lot of special teams early. And uh, so that, that's pretty much it. We had great numbers and great participation, and it is, it's been really, really good first week. And UIL rules, I believe, prohibited pads until Friday. Is that right? That, that is correct. All right, now let's talk about what's coming up uh, from here on. Okay, you've got three weeks until the season starts, a couple more weeks before school begins. So practice-wise, what are you going to do in the two weeks before school starts? Well, we'll come, we'll come out and continue to do the same things, and we'll add each day to get our, all of our base package in, and then we'll start adding and get some, get some of our reach deep, deep in our playbook and get more things and get ready for uh, Jacksonville. You know, we have our scrimmages against Kilgore uh, next Saturday, and then uh, we scrimmage here against uh, Gladewater. And uh, so those two, that'll be our final tune-ups, getting ready for the Jacksonville to come here. All right, so one more time, uh, Kilgore next Saturday. I believe I saw in the paper that's 10 a.m., is that right? Varsity will be at 10, uh, ninth, ninth grade, and JV will be at 9. All right, and then, so that's on Saturday, and then the following Friday, it's back here at Bulldog Stadium for Gladewater. That's correct, and we'll go 5, 6, and 7 on those. All right. Now, I don't know if uh, if George has in the background here. He probably doesn't. I think he's, he's zeroed in on us. So he's shaking his head in the background. Uh, our fans can see the five steel supports back there for the new school board. Uh, tell us how we're coming along. Well, it'll be, believe it or not, it'll be ready by next uh, Friday. The screen and everything will be operational, and they're going to do the training next Friday, and then it'll be ready for, we'll have our first practice session, if you want to call it that, and uh, as far as our, our Stuart Stanley and his uh, media guys, and, uh, and they'll, do the, um, they'll do the first scrimmage. So it's, it's very exciting. All right, very good. Now, we usually have a uh, Meet the Bulldogs uh, booster night. Is that coming up any time? And I saw your look on your face. You're sort of, you may not know when the date is. Is that well, right? It's that first Monday of school, and I believe that's the 27th. So that's that, right. that, that is right. So it's Monday the 27th at 6.30 in the gym. In the gym. All right. Uh, first week of practice, tell us, first of all, two or three areas that are really team strengths, going to be strong points pretty much from the very beginning. Well, uh, you know, uh, first of all, our leader, uh, Blake Bogan, shoots at quarterback and on offense, and uh, he's going to be very, very good. He, was, he played at a very high level uh, last year as a sophomore, but he is lots better this year, and we're expecting even more out of him. And then, of course, Tevin Pipkin at running back. We got a, we got a stable full, full of running backs that we're pleased with. You know, with Tevin had a great year last year, and we're looking for bigger, better things this year. And then you got uh, sophomore Brian Bolton. Well, I forgot DK Callaway's a senior, and he is uh, he's faster than he's ever been. He's strong. Had a great off season for us, and and he'll get some carries. And then and then uh, DK Callaway. Shoot, I said DK. Uh, Brian Bolton, sophomore. He has really really impressed us this first week. There's no question. And we knew he was a good player. We didn't know he would be at this level yet. And so uh, he he'll get his carries. That's for sure. And then on short yardage guy Trent Jackson. Um, you know he had a. I mean, when we give it to him, he can really, really get uh, pounded up in there and get us the, the, the old tough yardage. And then defensively, you go across the ball, and then you know you start off with Trent over there, Trent Jackson, at, at Mike linebacker, and and then we got uh, Isaiah Golden, the transfer in for um, from Elysian Fields. Is, is uh, he's had a great camp, so he'll be a great player for us. And then Mario McCain's two-way player for us, and you know Dominic Collins coming back at corner, so. We're comfortable with a lot of positions. We're trying to find a, a couple positions and, and just become more physical. More physical, and, and what are some areas where, uh, where you've still got some question marks? Well, we got a lot of talent out at wide receiver, but we got to have two or three guys to step up and be, be the guys, you know, and because they're all kind of 
right there together right now, and, and we need to, two or three to separate the, themselves from the rest. So we, we'll be comfortable with throwing the, the, who we, who we uh, evaluate the best, and that way we'll be comfortable and know how to pick it because it's hard to get rhythm with rotating six, seven, eight guys out there, so we need two mm. or three guys mm -hmm. to step up. And, and then uh, safety. Also, you know, those we got two guys that hadn't played back there, but you know, Gabe Villanueva was a senior. He he's he's played played there, but uh, he's a starter this year, and he's had a great camp. So we're looking at big things from him. All right, now you said Blake Boken shoots even better this year. In what ways? Well, he knows the system better. Number one, his arms better. He's bigger. He's faster. He's stronger. And um, you know, but the main thing I think that uh, he knows he knows the system better, and we're gonna let him do more things and call more plays from the line of scrimmage. We'll give him a little package to pick from and. And you know maybe three or four plays, and he'll see the defense, and and hopefully pick the the right one, the uh, the best play for their particular defense they're lined up in. He's going to have more leeway this year to call plays himself. Oh yeah, absolutely. Now he won't call the plays. We'll call the plays from the sideline, but we will see, signal in, um, you know, say check with me, and give him like three or four options, and um, and he'll look at the defense and and snap it from there. All right, one final thing. What did you see from 7-on-7 seven seven this year that you really liked? We had a really good 7-on-7 seven seven year. You know, we've, we've never been um, done great down at the 7-on-7 um, seven seven state tournament, and we ended up doing pretty good down there. But we don't ever work out for 7-on-7. Seven seven. Uh, we never take a day, all right, let's go work out 7-on-7 seven because seven, we're, we're looking for the, the, the big rings and the big trophy, the UIL trophies. And 7-on-7 uh, uh, we, mm -hmm. we, seven seven is an avenue for, to give us better, get us better. But that's not where our focus is. But we did have a really good year. Well, Scott, last year uh, we came closer than I thought we would uh, to possibly going to the state championship game. I mean, came very, very close. Uh, how good can this team be this year? Well, I, I know it's, it sounds like a cliche, excuse me. But if, if we continue to get better and stay healthy, we will have a we'll have an opportunity to end be be pretty good. And uh, who knows, we could be great. I, I don't know. I, I think we have the talent to be great. But again, we got to stay healthy and uh, continue to get better. All right, Scott. Uh, thanks for coming on and have a great year. Yes, sir. Thank you, Larry.